Hey guys, it's Hannah. I'm currently at Sherwin Creek in Mammoth and I have not been filming our trip because I've been all present or whatever. And now I'm breaking out the camera because we have so many friends here. Look, this particular friend. Are you ready? <laughs> it's Ethan Straw. I'm gonna show some of Ethan's photography here. I agree. Yeah. We have so many friends here. I'm gonna show them to you. I just feel we just had such a great day. We saw two bears today. One bear was in our campsite and he ran up a tree and he tried to get into our cooler. It was very stressful and it acted like I wasn't scared, but it was definitely scared. My friends Beck and Cynthia just arrived, and this is Cynthia's first time actually camping. She's done glamping before, but she had a shower every day and it was only for two days. And this time she's a little nervous because she doesn't have toilets at flush she doesn't have a shower and it's her first time getting all settled and so we are going to see how Cynthia and Beck are doing this is Cynthia she's one of my best friends in the world and she was um, well this is her first time camping so what do you think so far I'm looking for my long pants <laughs> Everyone's telling I'm me. liking the I'm digging the style you've got I think you've really uh, you've adapted to the camping life 90s hiking I'm, <laughs> I'm ready and this girl told her about our bear story as soon as she pulled up and I told you she's it's epic because we saw two in one day. <laughs> so I think I'll just wear this right now with this Perfect, and this. perfect. And then my sweater. The uh -huh. thing about camping is it doesn't really matter as long exactly. as you're warm. And then I have this for later. When I'm perfect. That's a really that? great, huh? is that a jacket? It's a great idea. Yeah, Bring it over with you. Thing. You'll want to put that on. Let's Seriously. encourage her in I her choices. I think your puffy jacket is wonderful. It's a Do great a idea, beanie? Cynthia. Do you have a beanie? I don't have a beanie, but my hair, I have so much hair that it acts as an insulator. Oh, I have one of you. I have an extra. We have extras. <laughs> Perfect. Do I change here, like in my tent or in the bathroom? It's really up to you. The bathroom, I would change in the tent. It's a little bit more comfortable. Because that's true. It's not a flushable, yeah, yeah. It's not a flushable toilet. And there's no place that? to like hang your, hang your stuff. And actually, when yeah. you go to the bathroom, huh? should I tell her about the flies? No, not yet. Don't okay. tell her about the flies. Okay. We'll save that for tomorrow. Wait, you guys are waiting for me, right? Yeah, Kesley, <laughs> did I tell you, what, or I'll tell Beck too, when Cynthia texted me yesterday or today, she was like, I'm so, my, my friend told me I'm so scared of the beards. <laughs> she meant bears. Oh, <laughs> autocorrect for the win. Yeah, but also you should be afraid of beards. Like windy, windy. <laughs> oh. Yes, that is my gator, I believe. <laughs> How many bears did we see? Yeah. Do you need help? Just put these down. Thank you, cat. Oh my gosh, you're so good. You're good at food, cat. Yes. Yes. Get it. Oh, yes. Oh, la, la. That looks bomb, guys. How'd you sleep last night? Was it rough? You slept in well, the I'm car. How's it been um, camping with kids? What's your verdict? My verdict is, is when they're three, it's awesome. Or like, I'm just Jonesy <laughs> when yeah. he was younger. But I don't know, this guy just doesn't like sleeping out here. So it's been a little difficult. So you slept in the car last night? We slept in the car. Had to nurse him like 17 times. Wiley, it's it's lucky you're really cute though. <laughs> you're so cute. <laughs> we are now going to wake up Beck and Cynthia. I mean, they're probably awake, hopefully. But also, I Cynthia's first time camper, so we can't wait to hear how her night went. Yes, and and. And our lips are like, <laughs> I can't move my face. I have a major camp face right now, meaning Me too. wind chapped, dirt, Sun. clogged pores, dry. And dry. But we love it out here. We're we very do. happy and grateful because we, we got to witness two deer, two bears. Two bears, two deer, <laughs> chipmunks, blue jays. Life's good. Also, it got really cold last night. I really hope Cynthia was all right. Oh, oh they're man. like, they're in their tent still. I don't know. They're tense. How are they still asleep? I have no idea. This is wild. Oh, we're, we're waking up Levi. Are you kidding me? Levi wants to be up. We didn't wake him up. <laughs> knock, knock. Good morning. Good morning, little loves. It's a bear. <laughs> 
This is TMZ. <laughs> what did TMZ people say? It's like celebrities. They're just Jen. Like Jen, what, what is Ben up to? <laughs> just a, how was it? How was it with your split and Ben? Are you guys talking? Oh, Jen. It's, it's like very invasive. Okay, I mean, like what I'm doing right now. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Yeah, but you look beautiful. Oh you do. God. You do. You look all natural. How did you sleep last night? What was it like? Tell us, please. Beck is gonna murder us. What? She is she dead asleep? Oh, okay, okay. But you've been awake. I know that. See? <laughs> See? I knew it. We rescued her. Levi! 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 <laughs> Levi! Oh, he, he does like not Jonesy. care about us at all. He's a lot like Jonesy. He's like, yeah, totally. <laughs> Come here. Oh my gosh, he's so beautiful. Oh my god, you were so cute. You were so cute, Levi. Come here. <laughs> he's so majestic. Hi. Oh god, oh god, okay. We are now on our way to one of our favorite lakes ever in Mammoth called Arrowhead Lake or Lake Arrowhead. I'm not really sure what it's called. I think it's Arrowhead Lake. It's so beautiful and we're gonna hang out in the rocks and have our lunch there. You've done it multiple times. I know, I'm so scared of her. Wanna jump together? I'm gonna go that way. Yeah, you should. Maybe someone else can go first and show me how it's done. Yeah. Hannah. Like cat. Thank you. 
most incredible time in Mammoth this year, and I just want to do a little PSA about wildlife because we did see a lot of wild animals this trip, more than I ever have. I see deer every time I go to Mammoth, but it's normally at a distance, and this time we had deer walking through our campsite. Unfortunately, the deer are getting so comfortable with humans, and it's nice and it's pretty and it's a peaceful moment and everything because these deer are just so gorgeous and miraculous but we're really not supposed to get so close to the deer and unfortunately people feed the deer which you're really not supposed to do but the big exciting part of the trip was the bear that came to our campsite every single day pretty much we nicknamed him cody because he's so cute he's like an adolescent i thought the name kind of was perfect for him because he's like a teenager he doesn't care we had a lot of stories with cody but the big walk away is that people leave their food out at campsites so bears like Cody and his friends get way too comfortable. It's worth the risk for them to walk up to campers and take their food. These are black bears in the Eastern Sierras. They're not grizzlies, so they're not necessarily aggressive, but it is dangerous for both them and for humans. What you're supposed to do when a bear comes up is to make loud noises, scare them away, do not throw things at the bear, which we saw someone do, which was so stupid. <laughs> And when you make the loud noise and, and just make yourself big, bang pots and pans and things like that, the bear normally just says, ah, oh, it's not worth it. I'm just going to walk away. And Cody was so cute as he's walking away. He's like, gosh darn, they're just too obnoxious. Just And then he just took off. Ah! Oh, he's so cute though. Oh. Oh my gosh. Is that the same one? Viewing wildlife is such a privilege and it's so exciting, but it's not a right to us as humans. And that's why when we do see them in a place like this, it's so exciting and magical. But at the same time, we need to be really safe because they are wild. They could be potentially dangerous. And at the same time, we want to protect them and their habitat. The more comfortable they get with humans, the more likely um, they might need to be removed or even put down because they're, they could cause a hazard. That said, please store your food and trash properly. Thank you so much for watching this very discombobulated vlog. Um, I honestly was so in the moment with um, traveling. This camping trip was so much fun and um, we had so many moments that were really special to me that making a really coherent video about it was the last of my priorities. I hope you guys have a wonderful day.